I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. Today we're in Bangkok, Thailand and it's a Thai street food tour kind of a day. Let's eat. First up, mooping or a pork skewer. You will see these everywhere in Thailand. They're cheap and they're an incredible snack. Just sweet, mm, juicy pork, small glaze, cooked straight on the charcoals. Absolutely heavenly to get us started. Being Thailand, it is super hot. So the drink vendors who you'll see everywhere are a perfect refreshment stop. I've got an iced Thai milk tea. It's made with tea, evaporated milk and condensed milk and it's filled with ice. Ice is fine to drink in Bangkok. We've had no problems drinking drinks with ice on the street. If you need a bit more of a caffeine hit, you can get Thai iced coffee as well. Be aware that these are very sweet. We don't know how to say no sugar in Thai. So if you want no sugar, you might need to learn that. Also, if you can find a stand that's using a percolator or some sort of device to make the coffee rather than instant, then you're onto a winner. But most of them will use instant. It's still amazing though. Noodle soup vendors are everywhere in Thailand and noodle soups are probably the most common street food that you'll find. When you see a noodle soup vendor it can be a little bit tricky because often they don't speak English, we don't speak Thai, so we've found that the best way is often to just smile and point to what you want. Noodle vendors will often sell just one type of noodle dish or it might be a bigger establishment and they'll have all sorts of noodle dishes. Um, again, just smile point to what you want and hope for the best. You know that it will always be delicious. I've ordered today a Tom Yum noodle soup. So it's a hot and sour soup. It comes with rice noodles, there's wonton skins, some bean sprouts and some chives. Give this soup a taste. Quite spicy but not spicy enough for my taste. On the Thai table, you'll always find a range of condiments. So you'll see fish sauce, there'll be chilies and vinegar, sugar, and also dried chili. And that's for you to add to your noodles so that you can adjust the taste of the dish to what suits. I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar, a touch more spice. a little bit of sugar just to round it off. Remember if you're loving our content we would love you to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get word of when we post new videos. You'll see fresh tropical fruit all over the place in Thailand cut up and ready to eat. Just grab a packet of whatever there is most of because that's what's in season and it's going to be amazing and it's always cheap. Speaking of pricing, we've been putting prices on the screen with like a general window of price and that's the thing you'll find. The pricing is always similar. So once you sort of go to one noodle shop say or one fruit stand and you work out the price, that's pretty much what it's always going to be. Never ask the price. For starters, if you don't understand Thai, you won't understand the answer anyway, but it just starts confusion. So just if you're buying fruit and you're a little unsure, say give them a 50 and they'll always give you the change. They're so honest here. Just hand over some money, you'll get the correct change back and it's never going to cost you very much. Time for some watermelon. Next up, Kalman Gai or the Thai version of the Hainanese chicken rice. So I've got poached chicken, uh, cucumbers, oily rice which has been cooked in the chicken broth, some chili sauce and some soup which has got a bit of spring onions and some melon I think in it. This rice looks so good. Mm, the rice is real texture, there's a lot of flavour and the chicken is so soft. You'll see chicken rice vendors open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So it's like an all day kind of food. You'll see plenty of balls in Thailand. Actually, you'll see all types of skewers. Normally put on the grill, sometimes boiled. Here we've got pork balls, the light ones, and fish balls, the dark ones, covered in chili sauce. What we've done today is really pick common foods for you to see. So everything we're showing you, you will find when you come to Thailand. They're everywhere. Some of these things you'll see almost every block. 
So they're things that you can definitely find, definitely try. Let us know which ones have you tried, which things should we have tried. Go down to the comments below and let us know. I'm gonna try the pork ball. Another simple, beautiful snack. The sauce is very tangy. Wow, so spicy, amazing. Let's give the fish balls a try. Much darker in color. Oh, so soft, subtle fishiness. They're like a mushed up fish paste thing into a ball. Awesome, that sauce is so good. Now safety of food is something we get asked about a lot. Is it safe to eat street food in Thailand? Yes, totally yes. Of course sometimes there's gonna be issues, like anywhere in the world, but what's the thing you most hear when someone got food poisoning overseas? I was at the hotel every time. Eat it, don't be scared, try everything. If a place is busy, if it's cooked fresh, it's fine, and it's the best food you'll have. Final Thai street food snack, anything coconut. There's coconut ice cream, there's whole coconuts available um, to drink from. There are these amazing little coconut griddle cakes. They're called kanom crop. They're cooked in a little griddle pan, so they've got a crunchy underside, and in the middle, it's a little bit milky, and this one has sweet corn in the middle. Mmm, the coconut milk just explodes in your mouth. They are so, so good. So there you have it, our top Thai street foods that you have to try when you're in Thailand. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you would give it a like. We'll see you next time. We hope we've inspired you to eat and explore like a traveler, not a tourist. Lago! <laughs>